Hi everybody, I want to talk a little bit today about how you can use the built-in screen recording function in your iPad to help support remote instruction with students. I um, should add that I am primarily going to be talking about uh, doing this using visual access to the screen. Um, there will be a separate video about voiceover access to screen recording that will be um, tagged in this blog post. So if you're looking for how to do all of this non-visually um, using voiceover, there will be a separate video about that. So I really like screen recording and I think it has a lot of benefits in remote instruction when you can't meet with a student synchronously like via Zoom or Google Hangouts or FaceTime or another um, video conferencing platform. Um, so screen recording is something that's available on every iPad as long as you're at least running iOS 11. So if your iPad is still updating and you're running at least iOS 11, you, you can do screen recording on your iPad, your iPhone, your iPod Touch. Um, so how you're actually going to do that is first you've got to get it set up in the settings app. So I'm going to go into settings. And then I'm going to go down to Control Center. And then I'm going to hit Customize Controls. And um, you can see I already have screen recording selected here because I'm actively screen recording right now. But if you don't have screen recording all already set up, if you look under More Controls, you'll see screen recording somewhere here in this list. And you just hit the plus button next to screen recording and it'll add it up here to your active control center um, widgets. So I'm going to hit the home button to go back home. And then now to activate the control center, if you're not familiar with control center, you're just going to swipe with one finger um, from the upper right hand corner diagonally um, towards the lower left hand corner. Um, so it doesn't need to be a big movement, just a small um, one finger swipe sort of diagonal from the um, right corner of the screen. And that brings up my control center. Um, so there's a lot of things in control center, like turning on airport um, airplane mode and turning your Wi-Fi on and off and having some control over volume. Um, but I just want to note that one of the things options here is screen mirroring. Some people get confused and think that is screen recording. It's not. That's like if you have an Apple TV for example, and you want to share your iPad screen to your TV screen um, through your Apple TV, that's what screen mirroring is. The screen record button is actually this button. Mine is highlighted and flashing, um, like almost like a record button, um, the symbol for a record button. Um, and so that is telling me that I'm actively screen recording right now. Um, so I can't actually do this next step because I um, am actively screen recording and I would stop my screen recording if I touch that button. Um, but I just want to point out that one thing that's really important to remember is that if you want the microphone to be recording your voice while you're screen recording, you actually have to hold that button down. So just with one finger, instead of just quickly selecting it, you just hold um, a little firmer press down on that button. It's going to bring up a second menu there that's going to allow you to then turn your microphone on. So you can just um, do a screen recording that is doesn't include your voice or any background noise at all that would be coming through your microphone and it's only going to be the internal noise from the iPad is actually making and that's fine too so you can leave your microphone off. Um, but if you want your microphone on, like I've got mine on right now so that you can hear my voice speaking, um, you're going to want to hold that button down and then turn the microphone on before you actually start the recording. It's also going to give you an option to um, have the video, once it's completed, go to a particular place. I have mine just go to my Photos app, and that's what's uh, saved by default. Um, so you can change that if you you know are a little more advanced user, but it's really easiest, in my opinion, I think, just to have it go to your Photos and then you just go to the same place that you go to like when you take a picture on your iPad, your video is gonna be right there in that same app once you're um, done screen recording. So, um, and then I just tapped the screen once away from the control center to bring me back to home. Um, so what are some of the advantages of screen recording? Why not just you know email your student a link or something like that? Um, 
So I'm going to show you one example of a kind of a shared reading activity that I think is fun to do via screen recording. Um, so I, I'm going to go into iBooks because I have a uh, PDF saved here actually of The Wizard of Oz. Um, and this is the first page here of The Wizard of Oz. Um, so you could just send a book to your um, student or have, have Bookshare read them the book, but I like to bring in the instructor element so that you can really model, like for example, through shared reading, some reading strategies or how your student could be thinking about the text. That's really the advantage of doing a screen recording. So um, I'll just give you an example here. So Dorothy lived in the midst of the great Kansas prairies with Uncle Henry, who was a farmer, and Aunt Em, who was a farmer's wife. So what I might say here to my student is, hmm, that word prairies, I wonder what that means. And I can actually come up here to the upper right-hand corner and um, hit highlight this little button here. And um, I can select a highlighter, for example. I'll make it yellow, and I'm going to highlight the word prairies. And I might say, I'm going to go back and check that word later because that seems like a big word, and I'm not totally sure what a prairie is because I live in Vermont and... Um, you know, we don't really have prairies here like they have in Kansas. Um, so then that could be an opportunity, even in a separate screencast, where you go and look up pictures of, you know, what a prairie is and uh, maybe talk to your student a little bit about what are some of the animals you find on a prairie. So I think that the opportunities for doing a lot with screen recording as, as far as modeling for students is really important. Um, so that's my um, video about screen recording. Um, for instructors.